previous video we were building this drone at home with a wooden frame. Today we are going to put an FPV camera in it to be able to use our goggles and raise the quadcopter. Once again, I'm going to use ship components to build this. Between the camera and the transmitter, I spend 23 euros. And of course, you will need the goggles. There is a large list of different goggles that you can get online. I'll leave a link in the description of the video for the products that I recommend. So let's start with the process. The first thing we need is some space to work with and we're going to put the camera in place. This camera doesn't have any mounting, but if you buy a more expensive camera, it should include a mounting bracket. The camera I'm going to use is from the brand Ichin. This is a very cheap camera, but it works. I'm going to have an idea of where to put the camera, so I'm just placing the camera roughly where I want it to be. And now let's take a look at the video transmitter, which is also from the brand Ichin, and it comes with its antenna, a set of instructions and a mapping of the channels, and a set of cables. This video transmitter is a 600 milliwatts, which is a good power uh, to have a good range. This camera comes with a set of cables and a JST connector. I'm going to separate the video signal wire to be able to connect it directly to the video signal wire of the transmitter. I'm going to use one spare channel from the receiver to power the camera. So the JST connector is really useful in this situation. Now I'm going to find a good spot to put the video transmitter and I have to watch for the props so they don't hit the antenna. Now I'm going to start putting the camera in place and I'm going to use the solder to melt the plastic around to make a space for the lens of the camera. Then I'm going to make some holes to put some zip ties and support the camera. I'm gonna use zip ties to put the camera in place. That's why I'm making these holes to put the zip tie through. Naturally, the camera should have some positive angle or look upwards to compensate when the drone is going forward. If the camera is mounted straight, at 90 degrees, when the drone goes forward, you will look at the ground, and that's why we need to lean the camera upwards to compensate for that angle. I would say 15 degrees, it's okay to start with. To hold the camera in that angle, I'm going to use some blue tack. Then I'm going to use some more zip ties to hold the transmitter in place. And of course we have to connect all the cables. Make sure to solder all the cables in place securely. You don't want to lose video signal in mid-flight and lose the quad.
recommend putting an antenna to the video transmitter before switching on the drone or connecting a battery. If you turn on your video transmitter without an antenna, you're risking it to be fried. Now that everything is connected, we just need to plug the battery, turn on the goggles, and now we're ready to go out and fly. We can do some racing. Maneuvers. Go through obstacles and gates. or simply enjoy the view. I hope you liked this video, and if you like it, please hit the like button and also subscribe. See you in the next project.